Hello everybody, this is Alessandra. Welcome to my home, welcome to my kitchen. Today I am making uh, a delicious beef stew with Chianti wine. Uh, I have a uh, Villa Campobello Chianti. Uh, the ingredients are very simple. The first thing I need to do is get my um, dried porcini mushrooms in hot water. So that's the first thing we're gonna do and then I'll get started with all the ingredients. In a cup of boiling hot water, I'm gonna add, just take a look, there's so little, just a few porcini mushrooms because I just want the flavor. So I'm gonna add it there. So let's get started with the recipe. I have two pounds of beef chuck, um, extra virgin olive oil, just a couple of tablespoons because the meat itself um, adds enough fat. Uh, I have uh, two bay leaves, fresh ones, a couple sprigs of rosemary, two cloves of garlic that have been chopped, um, a stalk of celery, it was rather large, about two thirds of a cup, and I have a large onion, I'm gonna say about a cup. And look at these beautiful carrots, I, wanna, I didn't chop them up, I'm just gonna use a couple of them. And here I have the Chianti wine. I don't have the measurements for the Chianti because I'm just going to make sure the meat is covered. That's how I know how much Chianti I'm gonna use. Fresh black pepper, salt. I have a two pound uh, beef chuck and I find that that's the best to make a, a dish like this. Any kind of a stew, you're better off with chuck. So. What I'm going to do is cut it, try to make sure that the pieces are uniform so they all cook together at the same time. There it goes. I'm going to cut it down. I don't want them too small, but I don't want them too large either. So let's say it like this. Okay. And then give it another cut. So nice two inch chunks. You see all the marbleization inside? That's all flavor. When the fat melts off, what you remain with is this beautiful meat that shreds. The meat is all cut up. Meet me by the stove and we'll continue on. In an oven safe pot, I'm using my cast iron. Um, get the heat on. I'm just gonna add a couple tablespoons of oil. Like I said, we don't need a lot. Just a little bit so you coat the bottom of the pan. And the next thing you want to do, I want to show you, is just get the, the meat coated with the black pepper and also the salt. So I'm going to sprinkle the salt and then I'm going to kind of rub it everywhere in so it gets nicely coated. Nice and hot, let's start adding the pieces in. There we go. Okay, don't overcrowd. Make sure that each piece touches the bottom. If you're making four pounds, you need a bigger pot. You know, cooking is all about the, even the, the ratio of what you're cooking to the pots you're using. I'm very, I, I'm very, particular about that because see if it's too much then it boils it's not uh, uh, it's not searing and closing in the juices of each piece of meat okay always put the heat on high give it a stir to see over coloring i'm gonna measure out two cups of wine and see uh and then take it from there let's start with two cups Look at this beautiful color. Always keep the heat on high and keep stirring until it's all nice and sealed. Six, seven minutes have passed, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and add the onions now. The celery, the garlic on the side. Give it a good stir so that the vegetables go on the bottom and start uh, browning too. Gonna go ahead and add the the rosemary, the two bay leaves, the carrots, 
again. Stir, as you could hear, you, you could hear right now, because you added ingredients, the frying has slowed down a little bit. That's okay, as it starts sauteing, it's going to pick up heat. Look at these beautiful colors already. It's been sauteing for about five minutes. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the wine. Just add a little bit first. And just like this. You see why I, the reason why I like to do that is that the little bit of wine picks up all the pieces from the bottom and that's total delicious flavor that's added to the stew. Now, this is a perfect time to get your oven on 325 because this is going to finish cooking in the oven. I'm going to add the water from the porcini mushrooms. Don't add all the way to the bottom because if there's a little sand, you don't want to get it in your stew. So just gently add the water. Okay. I'm also going to add the pieces of the porcini like that. Perfect. Now, the next thing is going to be the remainder of the wine. I like it to be covered, so two cups is not enough. Let's go with a little bit more. Let's see. We got two and two thirds. Okay. Three cups of wine. So, three cups of wine did the trick. See, the meat, I want it all submerged underneath it. Bring it to a boil, put the lid on it, and let's get it in the oven uh, on uh, 325. I want you to take a look outside while we're making this. It's such, it's snowing, uh, so this is total comfort food for today. Here it is, winter wonderland, and it's going to keep snowing for two days. Him up to a boil. Let's get it covered. And into the oven it goes. Okay, an hour and a half in. Let's take a look. Okay, just want to show you. Uh, I learned something. These lids are supposed to be like uh, a plate. You put your stuff in. Take a look. Come closer. I want you to see how it, what it looks like. Let's give it a good stir I don't think it's ready but I just want to show you exactly see that no it's not ready it's still not tender it's supposed to break when it is but I will taste it just a little bit so I could adjust the salt I need more salt okay let's close it up back in the oven for another hour okay Come close, I want you to take a look. Let's open it up together. I know it's ready. Wow, it looks fantastic. I want you to take a look how soft and tender the meat is. Look at that. It just falls apart. And that's exactly what you want. I'm gonna test. Oh, delicious. Absolutely delicious. Thank you for watching. Tomorrow is recycling, so I can leave the bottle with a little Chianti in it, right? That's not good. So I'm going to finish drinking and enjoy it with this delicious meal. Please make my recipes. Uh, hit subscribe, the bell button. So many recipes coming out. Uh, wonderful groups uh, I'm part of and they're asking for different things. The next recipe coming up is going to be taralli. Sweet taralli. Thank you for watching. Be safe. Uh, let's keep cooking together. Alla prossima. Ciao, ciao.